Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a secondary navigation to your website using a feature called link lists. Here you can see when I scroll to the bottom of my page, I have three columns, each one with a title and then some links below it. And those are in the footer. And when I click on those links, it takes me to various pages on my website or places on my website. And you can see that those appear at the bottom of each page of my site. So it's a good place to put some links to pages that are maybe not primary for your website or just kind of secondary or shortcuts to get around. Let me show you how I added that to my website using the link list feature in the Web Starts page editor. First thing I'm gonna do is just delete the existing link list so that we can see how to add a new one from the demo. Click add and then select link list and then just drag, drag the link list where you would like it to appear. Here I'm dragging the link list to the footer so it appears in the bottom of each page of my website. If you want a link list to just be on one page of your site, you'd add it to the body of your site. I'm gonna edit the contents. You can see here that you can rearrange columns the various columns, you can give the columns names down here in this field, and you can add and delete columns by clicking add column and the delete uh, trash can next to each column here. Same thing with the links that are included. You can add links by clicking add link down here, which will allow you to add a link from your website, another website, email address, phone number, files, or even anchors. And then you can also rearrange where you want those links to appear under the columns just by using the handle that's connected to each one. And then of course you can delete and edit those by clicking the edit icon. You can change where a particular link links to. When you're ready, just click update and that will update the link list. To change the appearance of the link list, just select it, click on the style icon, and that's where you can change things like the text color and also things like the heading size, if you want that to be a little bit smaller, the alignment, the font style that's being used for it, and then the font size and opacity as well. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and see more videos like this.